You worry about me. There you are. Here I am. Come on, let's go. Let's go where? And why are you so riled up? Today is a great day, Arthur. Today is the day they are going to hang Colm O'Driscoll. That's so. Rather they hang him or I shoot him. Oh, they are gonna hang him. Yeah, and not before time. That boy's been on the gallows more than most. I wouldn't count anything until his neck's broke. Well, nor would I. Which is why, despite us being wanted men, we're gonna attend the event ourselves. And follow him onto the scaffold? Well, let's hope not. But if I could see that son of a bitch breathe his last, I think I'd die a happy man. We are gonna disguise ourselves. Oh, this, this in this. <laughs> Yo, Arthur looks so sick. Okay. Come on. All right, here we go. Well, don't we just look the part? We'll cut through the alley to get to the gallows. We keep our weapons holstered, our disguises on, and our wits about us. Mrs. Adler, might I say, being a fancy woman of San Denis suits you. I dress up like the Queen of Sheba if it meant seeing that son of a bitch sway. Colm hung me up, nearly butchered me. I don't mean I'm comfortable in this woolen coat. You made it out of that predicament, as I remember, Mr. Morgan. My husband weren't so lucky. You lost your husband. I lost my darling Annabelle. That poor boy, Kieran. We've all lost something because of Colm. And that is why we will shepherd him to eternity. Amen to that. Now keep those fingers off those triggers, because we'll need cool heads and calm dispositions to see this done. <laughs> Practice what you preach, brother. Whatever do you mean? Are you going to keep your cool? Really? When you seem to lose it all so often now. This doubting and questioning of yours? I miss the old Arthur. Don't we all? Hey, you two quit it. Y'all got a job to do. We're all in rough agreement about how we're doing it, as far as I can tell. Exactly. We'll get it done, all right. All right, then. Come on. We got a hanging to witness. Where did they get these disguises from? Look here. Dutch. Don't the public love an execution? All right, Dutch always finds a way to get us into something. Why is he walking slow? Hey. All right. Good. Now, you see that pair of asshole? They're Combs boys. Yes, I think so. What a surprise. I'm glad we're here. What are they pointing at? I don't know. We gotta follow them and find out. Yeah. Oh, here comes somebody. <laughs> Stay here. Don't do nothing. Like they don't look like they're following don't rush him. that horse, officer. Yes, sir. The crowd came to see a show. We don't want to disappoint them. I guess they did miss their chance to see John swing by his neck. Hey, hey. You know I wasn't going to let it come to that. Well, I guess I don't know what I know no more. And I guess this isn't the time to question either my decisions or yours. Here and now, Como Driscoll's going to get his due. He's turned down there. Yo, what? Where's this guy going? All right, let's turn. Let's turn. Let's go. Quiet. How many? Enough. So what do you think? Paul's up on the roof. Once he starts shooting, we have to have our wits about us and move fast. Uh oh. Yeah. I guess we faced worse than this before. Sure. 
Get to it. Yeah. We're about to get to. So, they got a guy up on the roof overlooking the gallows. Find a way up there on one of these verandas through a building maybe and get him and do it silently. Well, obviously I'm going to do it silently. Oh, I want to see this bastard swing. Okay, find a way on the rooftop. Ah, oh, there's a ladder right there. Here's a ladder. Find a way up to the roof and stop him. I'll go back to Mrs. Adler. Alright, I'm gonna do it. Go in here. Okay, get in here. Okay. He's so sick, but... Do I need to... Well, what we got here? Alright. I think we gotta go up this ladder. Just jump down on him. Your boss is gonna swing, I promise. You're wasting my time. Well, come. There goes your escape plan. All right, pick up the rifle and observe the hand. Yet justice itself can at times be barbaric. For sometimes a man. No, this is horrible. Actually, I don't want this. The only way to deal with him justly is by savagery. Colm O'Driscoll is one such man. Uh -oh. He has murdered, tortured, robbed, stolen, raped, and abused for a decade across five states, seemingly with impunity. Today, justice catches up with him. <laughs> As well you may. I've been a bad man. Silence! These charges are... Where you shall be tried. This Dang. is a place where your sentence is to be carried out, and your sentence, Colmo Driscoll, is that you are to be hanged by the neck until you are dead. <sighs> this is not a task we take lightly. It is not a task we enjoy, but it is a task we must carry out if our civilization is to prosper. Are we about to Gentlemen, kill people? Are we ready? Call Modrisco. May God, in his infinite wisdom, have mercy upon your soul. Whenever you are ready. <laughs> now you know how it feels to watch somebody you love die. Ruin my life! Dang. Oh, what am I shooting? Who am I shooting? Uh oh. Who did that? Oh. That one? Woo, guys. I don't know. Oh, there we go. Stop. He's still die. Oh. There's another 
ruins. Oh, I missed. Ah. Didn't miss. Got him. Who else? Oh. That wasn't that hard. <laughs> we got him. Let's just get out of here. Go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Just just cool. Yeah, that was a different, uh, different than I expected. Yeah, we're back at the camp. We had to. Let's go on about to talk to. How you get on, Arthur? Well, and we saw the bastard hang okay, but. <coughs> Ooh. I guess that's one less thing to worry about. I Why, guess, yes. Compared to the mm -hmm. entire government, in the end, Como Driscoll didn't seem like such a worry. A letter came for you. Oh, okay. I know it's from that Mary. Mary? She ain't worth it, Arthur. Who is? My okay. dear Arthur, I don't know if you received the letter I wrote to you from San Denis a while back. It was foolish of me to ask for your help again, and I promise there will be no recurrence. I don't imagine you'll receive this letter either, but I nonetheless must send it. Arthur. Oh, Arthur. I was just starting to dream the silliest and softest of dreams when I read about your recent activities in the newspaper. I miss you, and I will always miss you, but I cannot live like that. And it seems you cannot live any other way. When I'm with you, the world makes sense, but when we're apart, I see clearly that your world is not a world from which one can escape. I am so sorry for everything, for everything long ago, and for starting up that business again. There's a good man within you, Arthur, but he is wrestling with a giant, and the giant wins time and again. I enclose a ring you gave me many years ago when we were both young, not because I don't like it, but because I care for it far too much, and it reminds me too much of you. I hope one day you'll find some people in love who can use this. For it kept me thinking of you all these years. And I hope by returning it to you, I can finally be free. Goodbye, Mary. Okay. That was long. <laughs> Alright, so we finished that uh, mission. Uh, goodbye, dear friend. Let's see, hold for details. What details? Uh, what? Oh, I never get these. Oh my gosh. Ah. Like, I don't know. How, I don't, oh, wow. I didn't. Ah, whatever. All right. That's the end of that mission. Um, let's start up another video with, uh, I believe we have, let's see. We still have like three more main missions on here, and uh, I'll start the next video with the uh, another main mission. Let's see if I can Hello, get this game Arthur. finished by uh, Sunday, probably.